hi welcome to java net bean tutorial i'm going to click on start new project right here or you can go to file and just select new project today's project is going to be how to calculate distance speed and time so i've selected java select java application click on next i will now give it a name so I may have to call it distance speed and time distance speed and time calculation or just distance speed and time I have unchecked the create class I will now click on finish and then I have my project folded right there I would now right click on my folder select new JFrame and just give that a name underscore that will be underscore time there let's delete this and right here the same thing but well, this will be underscore distance underscore speed and underscore time right there get rid of the phone a bit right now click on finish now that my J frame is ready I will now select the property right there and define my preferred size I think maybe I should go for 600 right there and this would be 1370 by 600 and we can also just stretch this so that we can have enough room to work on next thing is go straight to the palette right there select oh let's select let's right click first right click and select set layer instead of uh, free design let's go for absolute layer now we have our absolute layer in place now go to palette select the panel paste it right there just extend it about that and select the property of the panel and select line border and my line border in this case let me make the border let's go for maybe 20 yeah that looks different bring it down so let me just run it and see how it will look like how this panel will look on the screen so save that compile and run it okay when i run it this is how it looks i may have to drag this down a little bit and maybe stretch this a little bit more and let's do that now all right that's much better okay now let's close that right at the top here add a label right there in here we need let's go for combo box one combo box there we need a label as well one label here as the output so we can we can align them so let's increase the size Okay. so I will now design it and just get back to you guys as soon as I'm done okay this is how the design of the interface is looking so let's see if we run it how it's going to look like that's how it's going to look like for now but uh, these three labels I'm considering once you click on convert I want you to show if, if it's distance divided by time or whatever okay so let's see how it's going to look so none of them is doing anything now but let's start with the combo box first let's select the combo box come to the property right there go to the where say model click on that and i'm going to delete all of those maybe enter distance speed and time okay so maybe right at the top let's have so select an option select an option okay if i click on ok that will be my default this very one so now that's the default right there okay so let's supposing even when you select an option nothing is entered in here so let's get this to output a message so we, the names of this will be as txt and enter one and enter two right click on that and let's come to where it says action perform that's the event we use and click on action perform 
okay before we can start with coding of the message box we need to import as follows okay we just import the java swing option so we can then start with this okay right there so what i intend to do is use an if state statement if j txt enter one dot get text so in this case if it's empty if it's equals to that so that means if it's empty so what i want the system to do is refuse but let's say or so that we define the other one or enter the pipe all right there just gonna copy all of this and paste it here let's change this to two okay that's my all defined and enter my curly braces now the message box that will be j option and dot show just show message let's put an m there and that should default here yeah. that'll show message dialog in there let me go for no value and my message will be you must you must enter enter value to compute okay just to compute then maybe i should use let's just give it a title there i'll call it dst system systems let's put a speech map there um come down here and delete that put a comma here and get the dj option message information copy that just paste that in there and that will be dot information there we go there we go paste it right there and that is that so if i run this system now let's run it before we decide what we'll do next and as you can see there's nothing in here if i click on that you get the message comes out pops up okay all right we can select and do whatever we like supposing we have a data in one of those because there's an all there and supposing we have a data in both there nothing happens okay if we don't have a data in there then this pops up okay so supposing we have some data in there what do we do then okay maybe let's declare we can always declare a variable or make it local variable okay we let's just say double um double d s t one equals double dot s double so and that will be that will be this very one let's copy it that is for the first number maybe i should just copy and paste another one that's for the second number all right i have first and second number there suppose let me, let me just cut it off and make it a local variable up there and one more variable okay d s d three so in that case it now depends on the data that is selected okay the next thing let's take care of that i think maybe we should just change this to an if statement let's correct this first that should be two all right so in here let's go for an if statement so that's if change that to an if statement if what's the name of that that'll be j jc distance dot get um, the selected item if the item selected dot equals let's make that distance if whatever is selected equals distance from the combo box we want the following the following variables up here so that will become let's just i comment that means distance equals speed multiplied by time yeah that's what's gonna happen here so we then say ds3 equals ds11 multiply that by ds2 there and now we need to assign this into let's assign it into a variable let's just call that value equals string dot format string dot format so what we format then let's enter that in a quote to it dot to f and that is it so we now need this d we need the s the s3 there 
so we are need to assign ds3 to into our display which is jlbl result dot set text the set you the text you setting is value and semicolon so that is it that is for the calculation for distance so distance equals speed multiplied by time so if we select this so let's compile and just check that out first so we select distance and enter whatever value in there and compute so that will give us our distance now i think i should use this to display some stuff in that case i think it's called j l b l display display one dot get text and the text in there will be distance that should be dot set okay so the other one that will be distance let's put the sign equals and the space there and the other one will be you know then will be time and this one is speed okay so let's check that out okay we select our distance and enter whatever value in there and here so compute there so we need to change this sorry we need to change those data that's two that is two and this is three all right and let's change this anyway let's just change it to x add a bit of space in there okay if i compile run so select our first option so since it's distance distance is speed multiplied by time so that is that so that's the distance okay so the next thing maybe we should have something here that would say distance well this denote distance anyway now oh, exit is not working and that is not working all right let's take care of maybe speed i'm just going to copy this copy that come right down here and if speed is selected let's change this to speed the other one is let's come down and paste that the other one let's change that to time so as for speed we need to then change this to distance really let's change this cut that off and just move this up there paste this here and this become the vision that says speed equals distance divided by time and time is this will become time that's correct as for time that will become time let's cut that, that off time right there that will be divided by speed really okay yeah it should work all right so hopefully that is taken care of so let's run it now just compile run supposing i select time and enter whatever in there that is not displaying it's not showing let's select speed okay speed shows speed equals distance divided by time as the speed let's go for distance yeah let's try time again okay maybe i haven't changed that okay i think there was a space here somewhere there was a space here of which i've already got rid of all right so we're gonna give that a try one more time compile run and let's try time okay that's it so time is working as expected so speed works distance works reset not working exit is not working so let's take care of reset and exit so right click on reset action perform reset is not shouldn't be a problem so I should just copy and paste this and change whatever I see there. change this to no value and let's copy all of those and paste them here and change them to no value as well okay all the reset commands is taken care of so let's take care of exit now right so exit is just exit so 
that will be systems dot exit make that zero in there and that is that so if I compile let's compile and run it enter a value in there enter whatever in here select speed we convert it we've got speed and we just need to reset this is not working so exit works back to reset okay this one is supposed to be two compile let's try it again enter select distance compute yeah so that's it guys it's it's working as expected i suppose you all enjoy just before i leave let me show you the codes or the converter code is right here have a good look at it from here all of those are local variables and uh, the data in there is stored in each of those variables and these variables is used to store both variable one and two and this just represents whatever converter or conversion is taking place and we meant to change this really so let's change this comment so that should be speed should be speed equals distance divided by time so the other one should actually be the same thing that should be time it's time divided by speed okay so those are the lines of code the important lines of code from here and just take it down there and the next lines of code is just declare function finally exit compile run it one more time enter your data in there select convert and that's how you create your distance speed time converter or calculator so with that, I'm going to call you bye for now.